7 Excellent Dating Advice for Single Women In today's world full of couples, being a single woman can be very annoying, especially if you are looking for the one but couldn't find the right one. You may consider yourself unlucky if all your mates seem to be dating somebody who seems too perfect, but you are that single lonely girl like always. So if you are looking for that special someone who will be your compatible partner, then make sure to watch this video until the end because today we will discuss 7 amazing dating tips for you. But first if you are new here, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Also don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification every time we publish a new video. Here we highlight 7 pieces of dating advice for single women. Number 1. Build an honest connection. The dating game can be terrifying. It's natural to get anxious about how you'll come across and whether or not your date will like you. But no matter how shy or introverted you feel, you can easily overcome your fear and forge a great connection. Just focus your attention on what your date is saying and doing, rather than your internal thoughts. Staying fully present in the moment will help take your mind off worries and insecurities. You have to be genuine. Showing interest in others can be faked. If you are just pretending to listen or care, your date will pick up on it. No one likes to be manipulated. Rather than helping you connect and make a good impression, your efforts will go in vain. If you are not genuinely interested in your date, it's very likely your relationship will not go further and will be a toxic one very soon. So make an effort to truly listen to the other person. By paying close attention to what they say, do and how they interact, you will quickly get to know them. And please, put your smartphone aside. That will distract your attention and will ruin everything on the first day itself. Number 2. Move slow and be patient. When you're single, it's easy for your mind to keep wondering why you're not finding the right person when so many of your friends are happily dating or married. But don't let your frustrations outshine you or you may start feeling reckless in love. Believe in your intuition when you meet a new guy. But don't be too judgmental or picky the very first moment you meet him. Be open-minded and most importantly, stop overanalyzing every single thing. Nothing works better than going slow for the first few weeks. Number 3. Be confident but within a normal range. Adding confidence to yourself is something that will take you much farther in a relationship. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from or what you look like. Having the confidence to approach the guy and talk to him effectively will change the whole game. For that, you have to properly prepare yourself before going into a good state for the date. Take care of yourself before considering anything else. Take the time to have a proper shower, get a good hairstyle and dress one notch above that displays your personality. Because first impression is very important. Doing so will boost your confidence and it's the ultimate key to a successful date. And yes, don't be overconfident. It can make you rigid and dogmatic which will put a bad impression on him about you. So be open-minded and try to keep confidence within a normal range. By doing so, you may also discover traits in him you never considered or even knew existed. Number 4. Don't compare. This is the simple effective tip I want to give you. Never go looking for your old relationship in a new one. And don't compare your ex quality with your present ones. If you keep looking for similarities, you will end up finding someone who is exactly like your ex and the relationship will again come to an end like before. Instead, look for traits that you would like to see in an ideal boyfriend. This will help you find a truly compatible and emotionally healthy partner that you desire. Number 5. Prepare for an effective communication. As I say in all of my videos, an effective communication is the foundation to a good relationship. Yes, that's true. You should enjoy your date while having a right conversation with him. So um, after you have introduced yourself, you should know what to speak so that you can keep it going and ultimately win his heart. Be positive in your tone, perspectives and approach. It will invite a conversation with your partner. He will want to communicate more when he perceives you as being lighthearted and positive in some way. Also, you should listen to your partner as well. This is really important. It will make him realize that you understand him emotionally and that you're interested in what he has to say. So improve at listening. You can also compliment him. For example, if he is a cook, you can say, you are such a good cook, I like your dishes. 
or if he is a workaholic person, you can say, it's amazing how hard you work. This will win his heart and he may start to consider you more than just a friend. If you want to know more about communicating with a guy the right way, you can click here. I've already uploaded a video where I've discussed everything in detail. Number 6. Deal with trust issues. Mutual trust is a cornerstone of any personal relationship. Trust doesn't happen overnight. It develops over time as your connection with another person deepens. However, if you are someone with trust issues, someone who has been betrayed or abused in the past, or someone with an insecure attachment bond, then you may find it impossible to trust others and find lasting love. Your romantic relationships will be dominated by fear. Fear of being betrayed by the other person, fear of being let down, or fear of feeling vulnerable. But it is possible to learn to trust others. There are things you can do, like being open to your partner and acknowledging their feelings. Also, assuming that your partner has good intentions and are up to no bad. Also, you can work with the right therapist who will help you identify the source of your mistrust and explore ways to build richer, more fulfilling relationships. Number 7. Know how to handle rejection. At some point, most of the people looking for love is going to have to deal with rejection. It's an inevitable part of dating and we must get over it. By staying positive and being honest with yourself and others, handling rejection can be far less intimidating. The key is to accept that rejection is just an inevitable part of dating and not to spend too much time worrying about it. It's temporary. Accept your feelings. It's normal to feel hurt, resentful, and depressed when faced with rejection. It's important to acknowledge your feelings without trying to suppress them. Well, I won't take this video too long. There are lots of things you should do to overcome rejection. Click here to find out. So here we come to an end. These were 7 very effective dating tips every single woman need to use. Comment below if that worked for you. And make sure to give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this amazing channel to get regular content like this.